What's going on everyone? I'm back with a new video on how to make a VHS effect in Adobe Premiere Pro. Now you may have seen my last video, which is a few years old now, that taught this exact effect, but Adobe Premiere has changed some of the effects that they offer within Adobe Premiere Pro 2023. So I wanna go and show you how to do the effect now if you have one of these updated versions of the app. So we've got some test footage here, and you can see that this is just standard footage shot with a DSLR camera. But if we wanna go ahead and make it look older, this is exactly how you do it. Now, the first thing you wanna do is set your clip on your timeline, and you wanna change your opacity blend mode over to linear dodge. So nothing should change when you make this move, but you wanna start by doing that. Now the next thing you wanna do is create three of these clips on top of each other so you can copy and paste, you can duplicate or you can hold down option and just drag it up so that you have three versions of the same clip on top of each other all with the linear dodge blend mode. And now your clip's gonna start to look a little bit strange, but we're gonna fix that up here shortly. The next thing you wanna do is head to effects, and this is where things are gonna change from the previous version of doing this VHS effect. You wanna search for something called levels. Now you can copy this onto the top clip in your sequence, and you'll see that you have a whole bunch of different effects, some RGB inputs and outputs, but we're gonna make this very simple for you. So what you wanna look for is you wanna look at these lower numbers here, and you'll see that there are some that say R, some that say G, and some that say B. That stands for red, green, and blue. So for each of these clips, we wanna isolate the reds, the greens, and the blues. So for the first one, we'll start with the reds. So we wanna make sure that our gamma for the red is 100, our gamma for the green is zero, and our gamma for the blue is zero. So now this clip, if we isolate it, is only showing the red colors in the clip. Now for the next one, we'll just turn this off so we don't see it. We can copy the levels effect, paste it onto the second one, and change it so that the red gamma is zero, the green gamma is 100, and the blue gamma is zero. And finally, we'll do the exact same thing for the last clip, this time making the red zero, the green zero, and the blue 100. So now if we turn on all of our clips, we should be seeing it as it's the normal footage, but if we isolate each layer, we're getting a green layer, we're getting a, oh, sorry, a green layer, a red layer, and a blue layer. And when they're all together, they look just like this. Now, if they don't look like this, it might be because you didn't set your blend mode to linear dodge. You wanna make sure that's the case on each of these three clips. So the next thing we do to start getting this effect to really come to life is click on our top clip and we're gonna to wanna to change the scale from 100 to 101. And now you'll see we're starting to make these red layers pop out. You're starting to get some of that distortion and it's really starting to look like an old VHS camera. You can see here how it looks before and how it's looking after. Now the next thing that you can do to make this even more interesting is you could add some keyframes. So you could keyframe your position and have over time, it just sort of slide out a little bit. And then as your clip plays out, you're seeing that distortion grow or subtract back down. It's gonna give it a little bit of a dynamic effect as you're playing out with this. So you can have some fun with that, make it as crazy or as subtle as you want. So one of my next favorite things to do is add a VHS overlay on top of all of this footage. Now, I have a link down below where you can download this overlay, and basically you're just gonna take it and drag it right on top of your footage, and then you'll wanna go into the effect controls, change the blend mode over to linear dodge add. Now you can see we're getting a nice extra feature added to this footage to make it really look like an old school camcorder, an old school video camera. And with this, you can play with the opacity. If it's too strong, you can just bring it down. I like to put it somewhere around 30%, just to have it be on there, very subtle, not over the top, but it's showing just a little bit of grain over your image. And you can see here again, the before and after of the footage with the VHS overlay, with the distortion of the RGB levels compared to how it originally looked. Now, the next thing that I like to do is add an adjustment layer to my entire clip. So if you go to new item adjustment layer, you can put this on top of all your footage and the way an adjustment layer works is that any effect you put on the adjustment layer will affect every clip beneath it in the sequence. 
So I like to put a Lumetri color on my adjustment layer, and I just go down to the Creative tab and change my faded film look to 15. That's gonna cut the contrast a little, make it feel a lot more like these old video cameras. And sometimes what I'll even do is go to my curves, I'll put a mark on each of these dots, and I will just bring down my brightness, bring up my darkness, and that's gonna even emphasize that lack of contrast even more. So again, here is a before and after. This is our clip now with the adjusted RGB levels, with the VHS overlay, and with a little bit of color correction through the adjustment layer, and you can see how that compares to the original clip. Now, the final thing that you can do to make this just feel a little bit more like it's old school footage is adjust your sequence settings. Now, if we go in, and we change our sequence settings from 1920 by 1080, the 16 by nine aspect ratio that we all know, and we change it over to 1920 by 1440, we're gonna get a four by three aspect ratio. And this, if we scale everything up, I'm just gonna nest all of our footage so that I can scale it up easily. Now this really starts to look like old footage because it would have been recorded in this more square format. And you can see how this compares to our original footage, a totally different old school VHS look. And it's as easy as that to do in Adobe Premiere Pro. So hopefully this helped you out. If you were coming from my older video or if you're just showing up on this video, I'm hoping that this trick is going to work easily for you. But if you have any questions, let me know down in the comments. Go ahead and like the video, subscribe for more, and we'll check you back in the next one.